Welcome back friends. I get a ton and I mean a ton of comments and questions on my cast iron videos and I appreciate every one of them but one of the most common questions I get is where can I go find some cast iron? Well today I'm going to show you. We're going to go to uh, some antique malls. We're going to go check out some uh, thrift stores. Go buy Goodwill. Um, we might even stumble across an estate sale or something. We'll just have to see. Um, we'll also talk about some other ways you can find cast iron too and uh, what's been successful for me and what hasn't worked so well. So why don't you jump in here, let's crank up the outback, put your butt in the seat, and let's get on down the road. What do you say? Thrift stores are my favorite place to search for cast iron. Inventories turn over a bunch. New stuff comes in every day. This is one of my favorite ones. I never get over to this part of town very often. This is actually in my old neighborhood. Kind of sad because it's changed quite a bit over the years. But it is what it is. Uh, these thrift stores have been really popping up in parts of town where it's you know, lower income. And uh, some of these are really big. Some of them are really small. But I'll take you into this one. And let's see what we can find today. Yes, we have tonnage here. Make a quick pass through here. Of course, we're looking for handles. Gonna make sure you look under this stuff here too. You'll find it stacked underneath. But I found some good stuff here. Doesn't look like anything today. Oh, and here we got a... Eh, nope, just generic, don't need any of that. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, lodge, don't need one of those. Don't know what the price is either. Oh, $8.95. I don't know, if that's a level, I may get that. One of my buddies is needing a cast iron skillet. We just kind of got to dig through here. And also look around other shelves too. A lot of times they leave stuff sitting. stuff gets stacked in there. Now let's take this lodge out and see if it's even. If it is, we'll take it. Just gonna go over to the part of the store where I can find maybe a glass top or something. This thing's good and level. $8.98. I think I'm gonna buy this for my buddy Mike. Restore it for him, give it to him for his birthday. Well, not too shabby. Our first stop, we saw Two pieces of cast iron, that little corn muffin thing we don't need, uh, that lodge, eh, not vintage or anything like that, but still a pretty nice piece. It's not one of the quote pre-season lodges that you can buy today. And it'll make, uh, it's nice smooth surface. It's not warped or anything. So that'll be something I can clean up and give to my, my buddy Mike. So there are three thrift stores over here that's the first one and the biggest one and uh, one goodwill so we're gonna cruise by all those and see what we can find now this isn't gonna take long because they have very little but you never know might be that day I found a Griswold in a place that never has anything so let's see what we got Hi. <laughs> I know right where to go. Doesn't take long. Of course, with cast iron, you're looking for handles. Oh. Oh, emerald. No, don't think so. This is the only cast iron I've ever seen in this store. Ever. And you can see. 
doesn't take much for us to look. So in and out in 60 seconds. Now, just to let you know, these thrift stores have become big business, especially over in lower income parts of town. This is my old neighborhood. I grew up two blocks behind this thrift store. It used to be something else. I don't mind telling you, I have a hard time coming over here. This was a great place to grow up, but it is a war zone now. But I come over here to hit my three thrift stores in a Goodwill. Oh, right away there's some cast iron, but made in China. That'd be a no. I haven't done so well with cast iron here, but I found some other goodies. But usually it's really dark. Carry a flashlight. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look very good. Always want to not get in a big hurry. These places also sell a lot of new Chinese crap. But they usually have a used section too. Just be thorough. You never know what you're going to find. But it doesn't look like anything today. So on to the next stop. Okay, let's talk about Goodwill for just a minute. Now here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, we've got a lot of Goodwills. And over in the part of town that I work in, which is a good ways from here on the other side of town, uh, I can hit four Goodwills on the same day. No problem while I'm out and about doing stuff at work. And I did the math the other day, and I stop at Goodwill probably on the average of two to three times a week. Uh, three stores minimum when I do that. So you do the math on that, and I've made hundreds of stops at Goodwill. And I'll tell you how well I've done at Goodwill. Zero. None. Nada. <laughs> so, uh, it might be different where you live, but here in the, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, we have these big, huge Goodwill distribution centers. And I've been in the back of these places uh, uh, just doing the work that I do, and I've seen them. I don't think any cast iron ever gets out of the distribution center and gets out to the stores. None. Um, I've, in all the, the years that I've gone through here, and I would say in the last three years, I've found exactly one cast iron pan, actually two. One was a Emerald Lagasse or something like that, and the other was a Modern Lodge that you can buy for $15 at Walmart now, the uh, so-called preseason ones. So. It's been a waste, but you know, this is all about the hunt. The hunt is what's fun. And I always go, hey, it's right there. It'll just take me a second to run in and out. This could be the day there'll be a, a really nice BSR or Griswold or something. This, this might be the day, you know. Never is. So I hope it's different where you live, but it's not here. The good news is the stores are, are this is a smaller store here, uh, but they're usually big, well lit. This particular store here actually hangs their skillets up so you can see in an instant what you're looking for because we're looking at handles mainly because nothing looks like a cast iron handle except a cast iron skillet. So let's go in there and see what we can find out. Now let's see what we have today. Mm. This is actually more than I've seen here before. Always look around too, people leave this stuff sitting elsewhere. Take your time. Well, like I said, nothing today either. Hey, I don't want to say I told you so, but hey, I told you so. Just don't have good luck with Goodwill. But I tell you what, these thrift stores have been popping up everywhere. Uh, it's gonna be in lower income areas. They're, uh, a lot of them are big and well lit. 
and uh, just look around at some of these old shopping centers these old strip centers and stuff and uh, a lot of times that's where you'll find these thrift stores you're not gonna have any luck uh, using Google at least I haven't found any if, if I was to go and put in thrift stores in Google right now I, I would put in uh, thrift stores Dallas and Goodwill and Salvation Army is all that shows up so you just have to kind of look for them and that's been some of my best my best spots but my next best spots have been the antique mall and we've got a couple of them one right by my house because out east of town here uh, we have kind of an antique area that starts going out the highway and it starts uh, right there in my town so uh, we're gonna go to the antique mall next now a lot of a lot of times you're gonna be paying uh, the prices are gonna be retail but towards the end of the month people are always moving in and out of these antique malls uh, either closing their booth down or going to a different mall and a lot of times at the end of the month when they're packing up and leaving they will put a 40% off or 25% off or something so uh, tag there on their booth so if you see something and it says uh, you know the skillet's $25 well that's a lot of money for a you know an old Wagner Ware or something like that uh, but if you need it and they have a sign there that says 25% off or maybe even 60% off, then that might be worth buying. So let's go to the antique malls next and see what kind of luck we have there. Okay, we're gonna stop here at the antique mall. This is one of two that are close by my house, right on the way home. I've had some pretty good luck here. This is an old grocery store, so it's a pretty big one and it's fairly well lit, but we still need our flashlight. So let's go see how we do. Fortunately, I know my way around here pretty well. I always start off in this corner and go around I can make it through here in about oh, 45 minutes because I know a lot of the booths that I don't have to worry about looking in so let's see what we come up with here's a perfect example of a place you really need to look around here because you've got a little bit of everything but we see some some old irons here Look real good. Oh, there's some stuff down there. I'm gonna have to investigate. Oh, there's a pan. No, oh, not cast iron. But just uh, take your time, because you never know what you're gonna find. What do we have? Oh, modern lodge. Don't need that. Nope. a cornbread pan Oop. that's good wasn't here the last time I was here don't need one though 2250 so even 40% off I've already got one of those uh, of course you're gonna see tons of these and unless they're some of the older ones they're not worth having and they've got these priced Twenty two fifty. They like that number. I uh, don't see anything else we need. Here's an example why you need your flashlight. I bought a corn muffin pan here a while back, except it was forty percent off. But I had my flashlight, and we're just kind of looking around, and it was laying down in here. Oh, there's something. As we speak. Oh, just the regular no-name stuff we're always going to see laying around. But like I said, the flashlight will always help you in these little nooks and crannies. And doesn't look like she has anything this week. Now this kind of caught my eye. Early 1900 Canton flop griddle, cast iron. Things pretty cool. Uh, not for me, not for 75 bucks. And I don't see any discounts anywhere. So I think we'll pass on that. But we'll keep our eye on it next time we come through. Mm, sort of interesting. Griswold. Like to have it, but not for 22. Yep. 
and no sale sign here and this is just your late model Wagner wear stuff what do we have here a little Dutch oven oh looks in pretty good shape uh, don't know who makes it but it says made in so I probably wouldn't be interested anything that's got a stamp where it's made is gonna be post uh, was that 64 when they started putting all the stamps on there I'm looking for stuff earlier than that and let me see 45 bucks and no discount no nope, not today well it doesn't look like we're gonna do any good today but that's all right now that last uh, booth we stopped at with the skillet and the little Griswold corn muffin pan there uh, that happens to belong to someone that works here and that stuff's been hanging up for oh five or six months it's full-blown retail maybe even more if she ever puts a discount on that little Griswold pan I'll go back and get it but until then we'll just keep looking so let's go on to the next spot well this is great it's our last stop of the day I'm gonna cruise in here to the mall and hey looks like we might be the only people here, which is great. Love it. I go here all the time, mainly because when I exit off the highway to go to my house, I'm sitting at the stop sign looking at this place. So I know where to go in here. I'm going to drag you along. Well, first stop will be down here. Oh, here it is. This guy has a lot of cast iron. Problem is, it's all at full-blown retail plus. I mean, he has it. But all of this stuff, I mean, I've never seen so many corn muffin pans in my life. But I've dug through all of this. And unless there's a particular piece you're needing, I see no reason to pay full-blown retail. For instance, Thirty bucks for this little lodge. Thirty bucks for that little lodge is pretty much up there. Uh, there are a few Griswold pieces, but they're pretty high. Let's see if he has. I don't see a discount sign anywhere. Just double check. Hmm. Well, it's the first time I've seen that. So let's see if I can find something for us. Well, I've dug through pretty much everything. I want to give you some examples of what we're looking at here. Uh, 250 on this Wagner skillet and lid. Uh, got this Wagner. Dutch oven and it is 375 I believe yep 375 all of the skillets are in the 27 to 30 dollar range so even at 25 percent off it's more than retail one thing that I found I would be interested in but not at this price is this this uh, deep fat fryer this Griswold piece kind of cool but it's 85 bucks so you know even with the discount 64 bucks something like that then I got to pay tax on top of that so anyway um, he has a whole bunch of this stuff and there's a reason for that because everything is way way overpriced so we'll just continue our search I spotted some cast iron over here 60% uh, off sign that makes it look good. Oh, modern Lodge. Modern Lodge. Uh, what do we have here? 
Dutch oven with lid. Hmm. Might be worth looking at. Oh, that baby's heavy. Oh, it's because it's got this bucket hanging off of it. Okay, $85. Might have to research who made this one. It doesn't appear to be marked. And he doesn't tell us. Dutch oven with lid, 85 bucks. Take 60% off of that. Might be worth looking at. Everything else, pretty common. So let's continue on. This is where you need your flashlight. And, oh, there we are. This is, I think, just a piece of common stuff. Yep. And there's your typical corn muffin pan. There's a steel skillet. But if you, uh, if you just take your time, fatten them a lot. There we go. Oh, my light's crapping out on me. That's not going to be good. Nope. Nothing back there. But make sure you look around on all the little nooks and crannies. Try not to get in a hurry. Okay, something just happened to catch my eye here. I've been looking for the little small corn muffin pan there. You can get them on the internet. Can't see what he wants for this one. Oh yeah, I can. Eighty-five dollars. I don't think so. <laughs> Must be why it's still here. Ugh. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Well, I'll just keep going. Well, I'm sorry we hadn't had any better luck. Although we did see quite a bit of cast iron. Nothing of real. Oops. Interest that we're gonna get today, but they, American cookware, okay. Don't need that. Um, it is fun to just look around these places, especially in the afternoon when there's no one here, because tomorrow there'll be a lot of people. Uh, the old Griswold deep fat fryer is something of interest to me. I'll research that, and I'll research that Dutch oven at 60% off and see what we get, but doesn't look like we're going to get anything today. Well, that's kind of how I do it. Um, I love the thrift stores, and I kind of dive in now these places during my lunch hour and just driving around town and things like that. I might see an estate sale on, you know, on the side of the road on a Friday or something and, and kind of cruise in there. And that's something that we really haven't talked about are garage sales and estate sales. Those are good places to look for cast iron, too. Garage sales, not so much because those people are trying to get rid of uh, mainly junk and just kind of lighten their load a little bit. Estate sales, people have typically uh, passed on or they are going to a retirement home or something like that and it's a total liquidation of everything there on the property. Uh, on an estate sale, you have to be there, be there early. There's websites that can tell you, you can put in a zip code and it'll show you the estate sales that are um, going on or coming up in your area and a lot of them will have pictures as well. We had an estate sale just across the street from us here about a month ago and they had 150 different photos on the website so you can kind of see what's going to be at the sale. Uh, estate sales typically start on Thursday and they run through Saturday or just Friday and Saturday and uh, the way they work them is an estate sale company comes in and they price everything out, get everything laid out where you can see it and day one is pretty much full-blown retail. And then on day two is 50% off, and day three is 75% off. I just happened to be driving by an estate sale on a Friday here about a month or so ago, and I came across this little uh, BSR Birmingham Stove and Range number three. And uh, BSR is, is kind of my favorite pan. This is what I cook with every day, a little larger one. And they had it marked for $20. Now that's, that's way too much money, but it was on a Friday, so it was 50% off, and it was $10. Not the deal of the day, but 10 bucks. You know I'll go ahead and get it so look up those estate sales in your area and check those out too um, one other place you can look is Craigslist 
Uh, I haven't had a lot of luck with Craigslist, but just go on the front page there in the, in the search box. Just put cast iron skillet or cast iron pot and see what you come up with. I have seen some guys that have two or three or four of these laying around and, and they've got, you know, they'll take 75 bucks for all of them or 50 bucks for all of them or something like that. You might find something that's worth looking at, but check out Craigslist as well. And the last thing, and don't forget to do this, let your friends know that you're into vintage cast iron because they might they might have something laying around that they're never going to use. I've had two different friends of mine give me uh, two different skillets that they're not going to use, haven't used in 20 years, so they just gave them to me. And Hey, I'm all about the free, no problem at all. So I hope you learned something. That's how I dig around for my cast iron, and I hope uh, you get out there and try some of the things I... I told you about and if you got any ideas please share them with me because i'd love to hear them so until next time you guys be safe and i hope to see you digging through the aisles at the thrift store adios